Okay, all right. So I wake up in the morning, you know, just to find out that uh, that Ronda Rousey has graced the cover of the Ring magazine. All right, uh, Ronda Rousey graces the cover of the Ring magazine. I have to ask Oscar, what the hell is he thinking about? You know, like you're let. I mean, you know. He's, he's putting somebody else from another sport. Somebody else from another sport on a magazine that's, that has been dedicated to boxing since the 1920s. Right? Since the 1920s. Oscar is, is, I don't know, I mean, is he back snorting again or what? I, I want to know, like, really, like, is he snorting again? Somebody tell me because I want to know, you know. Uh, so, 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 so this is how, this is how the post Floyd Mayweather era is going to be, right? We putting MMA fighters on the cover of the most prestigious magazine in the history of this sport. Right? Okay. Out of all the boxers, right? Out of all the boxers, out of all the boxers that we have, right? Uh, <coughs> I mean, it is so many guys that that Oscar could have put on the cover. You know? So, I mean, just so many. I mean, hell, you got female boxers, right? You got, you got female fighters. I mean, I don't know any of them, but hey. You got fighters that are female. Boxers that are female. Okay? So you got boxers that's female. They could, one of them. Who, who's the best out of them? She could have got the cover. Whoever she is, right? But no, no, no. Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar, Oscar sniffing again. He sniff, he's sniffing again. You know. He has to be sniffing again. You know. <coughs> I mean, my God. I mean, I haven't picked up a physical copy of the Ring magazine in years in years, you know, I remember back in the 80s, man, when I was a young pup, and I was in, and I was, um, I was seven, eight years old, man, I was, you know, I, we was in the gym, we was at this place called the Million Dollar Boxing Club, man, we didn't see no ring magazine, they, they had the KO magazine, it was, it, it was the KO magazine, it, 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 the ring magazine wasn't even in the joint, it was the KO mag, you know, so, but, my, have times changed, man. Oscar did boxing fans dirty by putting Ronda Rousey on the cover. You know. Something's wrong with Oscar, man. I, I, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe he's, maybe he's, you know, suffering from, you know, some type of delusional syndrome or something, you know. I mean, he's just one fighter away from being from being done as a as a promotional company so <clears throat> I mean he already doesn't have any champions I mean if he if, if Canelo loses then they're done uh, you know may, may, maybe that's weighing on his brain and maybe he's trying to hop aboard the MMA train before he just in case as an insurance policy before Cotto beats Canelo or something I don't know I don't know I, I, I don't know uh Good luck with that, you know. But I know I'll never support the ring. I, I, you know, like I said, the pound for pound list according to Ring Magazine, you know, like I said, yeah, a lot of people are still view that as credible, you know. But as far as buying a physical, a, a physical magazine, I'll, I'll never do it again. It's a wrap for that. It's a wrap for that. Putting an MMA fight on the cover of a storied magazine, of a storied publication. 
Mag- magazine been around since the 1920s. And he gonna put, put and he gonna put somebody from another sport on there. I ain't bet. Have at it, Oscar. You want it. I'm done.